Um, we are here with our new board uh, setup and this is going to be the key to our new setup so that we can have instead of high voltage high power 110 voltage in our size graph or e graphs we're gonna have a 12 volt system in other words you can use batteries or actually a, a regular you know one of these things eventually instead of having a 110 volt going into a system so that is what this is all about this is a new uh, board for that and you're going to test it for the first time this is going to be set to um, voltage 10 volt i don't expect more than 10 volts to come from there and this is going to be the output which is this cable here and i know it's all kind of linked in on there but there we go uh let's leave that on the bottom this is already hooked up that's our zero pole and this is going to be our input and that's our output that's hooked up and here is the only other one left now which is our 12 volt going in instead of 110 ha! i'm so excited and this is our 12 volt from here to here it's 24 volts actually it's minus am i doing that right this is the minus that's the minus yeah this is the so there is a, a total of 24 volts coming over here so there's zero here there's 12 volts positive here 12 volts negative there that's what we're doing all right let's see what we'll bring about hopefully we don't burn things up bus meters and whatever else here we go it's hooked up that didn't give me anything it's hooked up though all right it's hooked up and it's not given anything on the output that should have gave us some type of a motion as a matter of fact i should be i should be actually here on my uh millivolts of course that's where i should be so we can go easily there oh there we go well uh five volts here and this should be sitting on zero there somewhere zero right there all right and so with an input here which this should already be part of an input mic but it's not doing anything we're not looking and this should turn that left and right there we go and it's not i have no success with that uh, definitely the right way zero in the middle positive negative from there took that let's uh let's measure this let's see if we have uh, the 12 volts right um we're gonna go to 12 volts so it's 25 so this should be okay can tell what this is but it doesn't really matter on the output anyway but this is common and this is my voltage side so then this should be 12 volts coming across here which it is 12 neck 12 positive on the uh which is the same here of course and this should be 24 that's right see 24 and then if you turn it around because this is my negative i should so this is positive 12 volts and this is negative 12 volts by the way i did put a fuse in between did i did we block the fuse no the fuse is still good looks like and that is uh, so so that looks good the negative and positive 12 volts are good let's measure here what we got so that should be um once again this is my positive so it should be positive here there we go and negative there 25 volts do we have that there yeah we do and that means in the middle we have the 12 volts yeah and we do all right so all of that is good but we did not get an output we have no output here whatsoever do it one more time this doesn't matter because it's it's either positive or negative coming out of here you know depending on what side the meter is going to go and so if i put anything in here for example a 
an input here. Does she know? No, nothing. Not working. Bummer. Not working. Let's give me a minute. We did it according to this. All right. <laughs> Here we go, Dave. <laughs> we uh, we probably have to go to the oscilloscope and do some some you know measuring here, finding out what is going on. <laughs> All right. Well, but this is I think it's not our first try, but this is our first try this way. We did it with some wrong setup earlier. Anyway, this is supposed to be totally right, but it's not doing anything. All right. Okay. <laughs> 